In this video, I'll go over setting up Homer through Container Manager on a Synology NAS. If you aren't familiar with Homer, it is described as a dead simple static home page for your server, which allows you to keep track of the services and hosts you're running or managing. It also uses a simple YAML configuration file to build out the dashboard so it is easy to manage and configure. Here is an example of my Homer dashboard that I started building out, and I'll leave a link to the config file for this dashboard in the description below. Let's get started setting things up by first making sure Container Manager is installed. If it isn't, you'll want to install Container Manager from the Packet Center before moving on. Once Container Manager is installed, you'll next want to bring up FileStation, Open the Docker shared folder and create a Homer subfolder. Then from within the Homer folder, you'll also want to create a data subfolder as well. We'll also want to enable SSH by bringing up Control Panel, then Terminal and SNMP, and enable the SSH service. We'll need to SSH into the NAS to figure out what the user and group ID is for the account we'll be using when setting up the Homer container a little later in the video. At this point, I'll bring up Container Manager, select Project, and click Create to bring up the Create Project Wizard. Under General Settings, I'll give the project a name, set the path to the Homer folder that was created earlier. Then for Source, I'll select Create Docker Compose.yaml and paste in the Docker Compose.yaml for the project that I've already set up, which I'll include in the description below. If we look at the YAML configuration, you'll see that the volume that is set points the Homer data folder that was created earlier to the www assets folder within the container. I've also set the host port to 8080, which is the same port number that is used within the Homer container as well. For user, we'll need to figure out the UID and GID that will be used, and what I'll do is get that information for the DS admin user from the command line. Before doing that though, if you've been getting value from this video, consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to this channel if you haven't done so already. Let's continue and what I'll do now is bring up a terminal session and SSH into my Synology NAS. Now I'll issue the command id dsadmin, which returns the UID and GID of the dsadmin user. I'll then switch back to the create project wizard and replace the UID and GID placeholder text with the information that I just got from the command line. Now I'll click Next, Next again on this Web Portal Settings window, and finally click Done to complete the setup and start the project. Once the image is downloaded and the project is successfully built, I'll bring up a new browser tab and enter in the IP address of my Synology NAS along with port 8080, which is what was assigned to the Homer container to bring up the demo dashboard that is created by default. At this point, you can start configuring your dashboard by bringing up the config.yaml file from within the Homer data folder. And in my case, I'm using the text editor package that I installed from the package center to edit the file directly from DSM. As you edit your config.yaml file, here are a couple of pointers that I'll leave you with. If you want to change the icons in your dashboard setup, check out the Font Awesome website for icon tags to use. Then you can make use of the icon by adding or updating a line like this one that is currently commented out. Also, if you want to use your own logo, you can upload your image into the Tools subfolder. Then refer to the logo like in this section that I'm highlighting in the default dashboard file. In the end, you can have a customized dashboard like the one that I've been building for my network. Hopefully you'll find Homer useful in your environment and leave a comment if you do. Also check out these videos for additional projects that you can run on your Synology NAS. Lastly, if you'd like to support my work, check out the links either here on screen or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.